Will not be a drop of rain in sight tonight as Titans softball takes on the Utah State Aggies in their first and official completed game of the Eastern Invitational. Sophomore number eight, Trisha Parks, will lead off pitching this first inning for the Titans and it will prove to be a long inning as the Aggies will come out strong, being very aggressive with the bats. And that first bump, will, the batter will be safe at first. Bringing up the next batter, who will hit a shot, great throw by Vandiver, will hold the runner at third base. The Aggies continue to put the bat on the ball as the runner running the second will be called out for interference play. The runner at third will score. Coach of the year Kelly Ford would bring in their new transfer from Arizona State University, Kelsey Kessler. Unfortunately, Kessler walks the next batter with bases loaded, meaning the runner from third will score home and excuse that score on the bottom left. The score is now 3-0 Utah State. Two outs now for the Titans and Kessler comes back fighting, striking out the next batter. But the Titans will go four and out in the bottom of the first, bringing Kessler back to the plate. Kessler will hold Utah State this next inning. After the first out being a bunch, she will strike out the next two batters. Utah State going three and outs. It is not until the bottom of the third inning that the Titans finally get things going with the six. And with one out, Vandiver hits a single to left field. With two outs now after a ground out, Trisha Parks will come up and get hit by the pitch. Moving Vandiver to second, Lexi Gonzalez hits a hard grounder to shortstop with two outs. Trisha Parks will be safe at second as they try to make the throw. Vandiver will come around and score from second base. Zoe Richards will hit a shot to center field, bringing in Trisha Parks from second. The Titans are now only down by one run at the end of the third. Both teams go scoreless in the fourth inning, which brings us to the top of the fifth. Utah State not quite comfortable with their lead will begin with a single. A nice shot hit over the head of Delaney Rippey in right field. Will score that runner from first. Utah State now up 4-2 to two against the Titans. Titans do go 3 and now in the bottom of the fifth, which brings us to the top of the sixth. And Utah coming out aggressive yet again. As a shot right over the outfield, Ted will bring another Utah State runner in to score. Titans are now down 5-2. to two. With the runner on third, a shot hit to the outfield to Delaney Rippey. The runner will tag up from third and score home, but she does catch the ball. With two outs, Kessler will strike out the next batter, ending this inning for the Titans. Top of the seventh, new pitcher, freshman Sophie Frost. The Aggies will get one more on the board, leading the Titans 7-2. to two. But Sophie Frost shows no mercy as she strikes out the next two batters, ending the reign of Utah State hitting. Things begin to get interesting here for the Titans in the bottom of the seventh inning. Vandiver and Rippey will both ground out to the pitcher, resulting in two outs, but that shows no problem for the Titans as Trisha Parks will come and hit a line to left field, being the first runner on with two outs. Can the Titans get it going again on two outs? We'll see. Lexi Gonzalez will hit a shot to left center, and you know Trisha Parks is scoring on that, so the Titans are now only down by four with the score being seven to three. But things will end here for the Titans in the bottom of the seventh after a foot race to third, resulting in the loss of Cal State Fullerton Titans against Utah State, seven to three. What can be taken away from this game to move on towards the tournament and the rest of the season? Honestly, this is just a learning experience. Uh, yesterday got rained out, and this is our first full game together as a team, a new team. Um, we just kind of have to accept the changes that are going going on, and just take it in as a learning experience, and um, yeah, learn from what learn from today. As a first time Titan, can you tell me about your nerves out there, especially coming in during the first inning after having bases loaded? I don't know if I would say I was nervous, but I was excited to be out here, and I think sometimes that affects you, even if you don't feel nervous you know um, consciously I was disappointed I couldn't get that first batter out in the 2-0 but I mean it wasn't too bad I guess. Well I know it's a little early but how do you feel about the chemistry so far and you being here with the girls and a new team because you did just transfer here? You never know what you're gonna get with that and you come into a team, sorry, new team and um, I've got along with all the girls really well. I think I've gotten really lucky, and that really is luck because you never know what you're going to get, but I'm happy to be here. Do you think you can play nerves for the first inning, considering this was your official first game day of the season? Yeah, you know, there's a lot of pressure with opening day, and I'll tell you um, what I told the athletes in, in, in our post-game talk is we have an opportunity to make improvements on every aspect of our game. 
base running, defense, pitching, hitting, and let's see how they respond tomorrow. I, I don't know. I'm putting my money on the Titans. They, uh, we had a lot of opportunities to learn tonight. The outcome wasn't what we wanted, but, boy, there was some glimpses of greatness that I'll take. Tonight. Titans softball kicked off against Utah State in their preseason home opener, but they were just unable to hold on as they fell to the Aggies. They'll be back tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. against North Dakota. From Anderson Family Field, this is Brandy Flores, Titans Sports.